So today we are talking about no spend 2020. Because you know what? At the end of 2020, I hope I got a lot of 20s laying around. Guys, so in all seriousness, 2020 is upon us and it is time for goal setting. Have you made your goals yet? So this week is going to be about goals on the channel and I hope that you will make sure and tune in. Um, but let's get started about no spend 2020, no buy 2020, whatever it is you want to call it. The whole point is to save some of this green stuff and not to use all that we make. Did you know that over 75% of Americans actually spend their paycheck before they even have it? They live paycheck to paycheck and that just blows my mind because we have so much stuff laying around that we don't even need. So many people now struggle with issues of clutter and storage units that are slammed full of stuff. And I'm just, that's not where I want to be right now. I don't know if it's my age, I'm 35, and I don't know, maybe it's the middle age thing, I don't know. Um, so if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that I have been on a journey to minimalism for about two years now. And after a ton of work, a ton of donating, and a ton of different layers, if you will, I finally got my home to where I actually enjoy it. I love being here. It's easy to keep it clean. And I want to keep it that way. I don't want to go back through the same process that I've had to go over in the last two years. So the only way in order to keep it the way that I have it is to not bring new items into the house. So obviously, you know, as things break or clothes wear out, there will have to be times when new things are bought. But personally, I have caught myself buying things that I don't need and just just wasting money, if you will. And I don't want to do that anymore. So for 2020, I've got some new aspirations. Um, 2020 goals, financial aspect of where we are. I'm not a YouTuber that makes 10K. I don't even generate any income at all from my YouTube channel at this point. That's a whole nother video about my 2020 goals. I do want to be making in, in oh, hey Ruby, uh, money from my YouTube channel at the end of the year, but for now, ain't she so cute, she my baby. Uh, but for right now, that's not a possibility. So medical debt, I've got about $8,000 combined medical debt. Um, from my kids. Yes, as a mom, you have to pay their debt for some reason. No, I'm joking, seriously. So I've got about 8K um, in medical debt that I need to pay. I've got, um, let me think, student loans, about $58,000 worth of student loans. So I'm wanting to get those paid. Long term picture is I want to have my student loans completely paid for in three years and our mortgage is paid for in five my picture perfect, I got it, I love it, I did it my way, would be to have my student loans paid completely in full by the end of 2020, and then to have our mortgage paid for in three years. So, you know, as long as we're making strides toward it, I will be happy about it. Um, and then at the end of 2020, if I get those things paid, I get my student loans paid, I want to have 10k in savings. So, I'm just an average working American. Um, you know, it's going to be a long stretch for me to achieve all those things, but I know that the Lord can provide and that He can He can do it. So, I'm throwing out there something that's impossible for me to do. Um, so, what are the rules? First of all, I will be doing a video every single month. I'm going to hold myself accountable and write down everything that I spend and tell you how much I have saved. Um, but here are my rules. That's the good thing about a no buy 2020. If you want to dive into this, you could be do a no buy weekend every month or a no buy January or a no buy year. But these are the rules for me. First of all, there will be no eating out or very, very minimal eating out. Um, my goal is to only eat out one time a month as a family. Um, but it would be even better if we could do zero. Um, there are days when we are on the go because of my husband, my son's illness that we're in the hospital. And so that's why I have tried to make it just once a month. Um, because realistically, if you're stuck at the hospital all day, you can't cook in your pocket. So yeah, or um, my better goal would be to pack lunches from home and take them with us. Um, there will be no impulse, um, what you call it, convenience store buying, um, none of that. If there is a snack that I'm going to have, I'm not going to pay $3 for a single candy bar. I'm not going to pay 
two dollars for a single 20 ounce drink or any of that stuff i'm going to have those things purchased at home so for us me and my three kids if we stop at the store we can't come out any less than 11 dollars, and that's us all just getting a drink and one snack so that is going to be completely cut out um grocery shopping i want to grocery shop and cook all of our meals at home including snacks so that will save us a ton of money a ton of money we can't even go eat cheap dollar menu dollarish things for less than 20 or 25 bucks for the five of us so um eating out is not going to be an option this year um with that also grocery planning i'm going to try and do some frugal things like we're going to do some just to see if we can do it like one week where i try to buy groceries for 25 dollars, or i try to buy groceries for 50 dollars for all of us and if i do those things i of course will create a video and post them here for you guys so if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do so so that you can stay on the um upload whenever i or on the is my saying you know what i'm saying so you're informed when i post new videos whatever um anyway so the rules are i'm not going to be going and getting my nails done it's 30 dollars every three weeks to get my nails done i will continue to go get my hair done just because i don't want to come out of this looking like a mad woman or my self-confidence or any of that to go down so for me my hair being done is a big self-care thing so i'm going to continue to do that makeup beauty products purchases i've got so much here still even after downsizing so i don't have any intentions of going out and buying new mascara just because it's rolled out or whatever i will use what i have here if i run out of foundation or mascara or eyeliner then i will go get one um i'm going to be as frugal as possible through 2020 um clothing oh my gosh y'all if you've not watched the video about my master closet it was a complete disaster and it took us hours to get it done and I love it. It's manageable to keep up now. Our, we don't have laundry piled up all the time because we just have clothes that we wear. So as the seasons change out and I go get things from, you know, my spring stash and put them in my closet, there may be a couple of clothing items that I need as staples. Um, but I'm not just going to be running out and buying new clothes um, that I don't need. And the goal is if I do need a clothing item to go purchase it from a secondhand store. So a thrift store or like a Goodwill or whatever like that. So to see how cheap I can do this year. That's the goal for 2020. Um, what else? Coffee. I love coffee and it's one of those things that I just love to grab when I'm out and I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to make all my coffee at home and then Folgers now has got these little bags that look like tea bags but it's actually coffee. So all you have to do is get a really hot water and put that tea coffee bag in the water and it will make just like coffee. So if I want coffee on the go that's going to be my my go-to. I don't want to pay four and five dollars for a single cup of coffee anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to write down anything that I do spend on a notepad. Um, another way that I'm going to save money is I work from home. Um, my job, I do at home. I homeschool my children. So, we don't have a need to go out every day. My husband does commute to work. And so, if I do just need something quick from the store, I'm wanting to have him pick it up and bring it home on his way. Um, my goal is for me personally with the kids to only go out once a week. Um... To get like grocery store items or an errand day. I have got some errand lists that I'm keeping. And once I have 10 things on the list. Then I may have an errand day where I go out. But I was literally using one or two tanks a week in gas. And it cost me 60 bucks a time to fill up my vehicle. So I'm really going to save a ton of money. By just staying home and not being gone all the time. Um, if we do go stir crazy. There are free activities. We live next to free local parks. That we can take the kids to and we're going to do that um the kids also were given uh gift cards um like for restaurants to go out to the movies and things so that's really going to help us to know by 2020 because if they want to go out and see a movie or they do want to go out and eat they can use the gift cards that they have been given for their for their meals and stuff and so they can still be able to go do things um we do camp as a family camping is very inexpensive we do have an rv so I do plan on taking some trips camping, um, but again, that's just time out in nature. So the goal this year is what I would love to get the medical debt paid. I would love, love, love to have my student loans paid, and I want to have 10K in savings at the end of the year. So there you have it. Do you have a no buy or a no spend or reduce spend or whatever it is that you're doing? 
I would love to hear about it below. Let me know if you have a YouTube channel. I'd love to subscribe and see your journey. And again, if you've not yet subscribed, make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button for this video so that I know you like this type of content and I can keep making it. So I also have a blog where I'm going to be posting things there, free printables, free giveaways. Make sure that you go over to my blog, becomingblameless.blogspot.com, and you can get that stuff there. And I will have it all roll up on the screen at the end of the video. So I hope that 2020 is going to be a great year for you. I hope that you're not going into 2020 without making any goals or any plans because nothing great is going to happen by sitting around and waiting on it. You're going to have to work for it. So if you've not set your 2020 goals, please do so. And I really hope that they come true for you. And today's the first day of 2020, so Happy New Year.